Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do uh, the daily vibes for around November 4th. This will also serve as a new moon reading. Now, keep in mind that uh, not every reading is for you. This reading is not sign specific. This may or may not be for you, okay? This is for the new moon right around November 4th. This card just came out. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. That's what's up. Let's get one more. Well, I'll just show you what's on the bottom. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. So this has to do with a woman. Well, you know, 50-50 chance, right? Anyhow, something about a woman. That woman appears to have dark hair. Um, let's get one of these for the full moon. What do we got? What do we got? Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. New moon, new moon energy. Aquarius, Aquarius. This is about wish fulfillment. It is about getting your wish fulfillment. Um, going after your dreams. Replace your fear with faith. Replace your fear with faith during this time. Let's get one. Let's get one of these. What do we have for a message today? For around the fourth. Chariot. Chariot. Taking a ride. Taking a ride. Going someplace. This could be packing up, leaving, uh, moving, uh, getting in the driver's seat, taking charge, finding the self discipline to go in a new direction. So somebody is going to be finding the self discipline to go in a new direction. We have the tower. The tower is a fated event. So there's going to be an event that probably forces somebody. This is universal force. It's force change. Forces somebody in a new direction. Forces movement. There could be an emotional outburst ahead. Um, this is definitely a time of transformation. You see the butterflies. Them symbolize transformation. So doesn't that. Oh, I did one already. It was owl. But it's not in this one. Owl is change, death, transformation as well. We have, I started one already, but I got interrupted. Um, so this is a major uh, life change. Life is about to change. There's probably going to be light that is shed on a situation. Something is crumbling. A false sense of security is crumbling. We've been talking about this a lot lately. Let's get one of these. Moving. Going someplace. Somebody's traveling somewhere. They're going to be going somewhere. It's going, taking, taking the wheel, you know, taking, taking the reins, taking charge. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Came flying out happens to be 16, which is the tower. Change your life. You saw it. I think you saw it fall out. Change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunity that change brings. This is massive change. Okay? Unbelievable. There it is. There it is. Change your life. It's time to find the discipline. The chariot is about discipline. It's about self-discipline. It's about determination. It's willpower. Somebody is going after their dreams. They are. They are. Change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. This is freedom. Freedom from a false sense of security. This is the tower. It is. So we got a tower moment here. We have a major life change. Life is about to change as you know it. I assure you what's on the bottom. Eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right, right for you. A spiritual quest. There is something better that is waiting for you. 
There is something better that is waiting for you. Do what you know is right. This has to do with a woman. I feel like it's time to take control of your life. It's time to change your life. It's time. There's so much internal disruption. It's like you know that it's time. But the chariot is about replacing fear with faith. It is. It's about taking that ride. It's about taking that journey. It's about, you know, the chariot is packing up. It is packing up your car, packing up your vehicle, and going somewhere. Going. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about equality. It's about give and take. It's about reciprocation. It's about getting assistance. It's about getting help. It's about uh, equality, right? Getting back on your feet. Perhaps it's time to get back on your feet. Maybe you're looking for something where there's more balance, there's more equality, there's more money, or there's more success. Chariot reversed. Woo. Page of Pentacles reversed. High Priestess reversed. We have somebody here that's not listening to their gut. They've listened to some poor advice. They've followed some poor, poor advice from somebody. They yeah, have. They've received poor advice from somebody. They're stuck. Imagine that. Page of Pentacles reverse. This is a dead end. It's a dead end. We have somebody that is unaware that they are holding on to a dead end. They are unaware. It's like they're waiting to receive something from an individual that isn't going to give them anything. This person isn't interested. This person has already given up. I mean, come on now. Ugh. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about what goes around comes around. Yeah, receiving. There's an opportunity to receive something that you deserve, but you have to stop. Chariot reverse is stop. It's Page of Pentacles is about investment. Invest investment, but it is reversed. You need to stop investing in something that isn't practical, that isn't reliable that isn't interested that isn't committed you have to stop chariot reverse next to the page of pentacles reverse you have to stop investing in something that is a dead end okay you have to you have to find a way you have to okay you have to find a way to change your life we have somebody here that is unaware they're unaware or they're they've received poor counsel or they are just not very spiritual or they've or something like that with the high priestess reversed there's a secret. They're keeping secrets. They're dealing with somebody that has hidden agendas. Maybe they're unaware of it or they're just in denial of the whole situation. Um, I do believe that we have some, there's going to be some sort of emotional outburst ahead. We have somebody here that really, um, I feel like we have somebody here that really doesn't want to be in some sort of commitment with the Page of Pentacles reverse. They don't really want, they're not interested. They're not interested in whatever this is uh not interested that's page of pen loss of focus somebody's lost their focus they've lost their focus they've lost sight of their goals they may have been manipulated by another person that isn't very awakened there could be some manipulation here this is definitely something coming to a halt Somebody is dealing with an individual that is very shallow, that um, this person is also very boring. Not very intuitive. Not very attractive, maybe not very feminine. Um, closed off. Something is, is going to come to a stop. I feel like something's about to come to a stop. We have somebody here that wants help. They want reciprocation. They want to receive, you know, and they're dealing with an individual that is very 
not interested in giving okay this person is not interested in moving anywhere or doing anything i feel like we have somebody here that's really really lazy or boring or something like that uh closed off two of cups reversed nine of swords king of cups six of swords reversed ten of cups reversed and the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is your dead end. There's nothing, there's, this is unrealistic. It's not, it's not uh, practical. This is a dead end. We definitely have dead end a couple times. There's no growth here. There's, there, it's over. The season is over. This time is up. It's time to go someplace else. Time to plant those seeds someplace else. Time to uh, start over where the ground is fertile. To ha there's been some sort of short-lived success. The success is over. Okay, the ground is no longer fertile there. Time's up, time's up, time's up. But I believe that we have somebody here that may have received poor counsel from somebody that said, no, keep investing in that. How stupid can you be to invest in something where there's no growth? Where nothing is happening, where there's no nurturing, where you're not getting what you need, where you're not getting what you deserve. Is that wise? Is it smart? Is it intelligent? I think we have a wake-up call here. This is a wake-up call. This is an epiphany. That is your, you know, revelation. This is taking a new approach, a new idea, okay? This is a new truth. It's the raw truth. Seeing the truth. This is clarity. Somebody has been reluctant to move on, but we do have a relationship, Ten of Cups reversed, that is... There's no happiness there. It's an unfulfilled relationship, right? But they've been reluctant to move on from the partnership because, I don't know, maybe they had some sort of control? Or they were avoiding opposition? You know, they didn't want to leave because they didn't, they were avoiding challenge. We had the chariot reverse and then we had the, the tower. You know, that's a false sense of security, avoiding confrontation. But now the chariot is up right up top. That is, that is the fate, replacing that fear with faith and going in a new direction. The, there's going to be an event anyway, since we've had the tower twice, the universe is going to force something. It's like a separation. The Two of Cups is a separation. We have somebody here that is going... I mean, we got the Nine of Swords right in the middle. This is distraught. Okay, this is distraught. Okay? We have somebody here that is distraught. They're having a very hard time. They're giving deep thought to a relationship. Really, really stressed out. This is anguish. This is despair. This is sadness. I feel like we have somebody here that is really stressed out over... You know, wanting to leave. Below that is the Six of Swords reversed. They're wanting to leave a situation. Or and beside it is the Two of Cups reversed. So we have, a, we have the Two of Cups reversed, the Nine of Swords, and then down below it is the Six of Swords reversed. So we have somebody here that is extremely stressed out. They're feeling guilty about leaving a partnership where... I don't know. They invested in it. Ah, yes, they did. They invested in it and they had short. It's hard to leave something that you invested in that didn't grow. It had its short lived success. It is. It's hard to leave when you invested time and energy into something and you had success for a minute and there's no more success. It's because you're it's because of pride. It is. It's because of pride. That's what keeps people there. But the Ten of Cups reversed is a relationship that is not on the same page. These two people don't see eye to eye. We have somebody here who's, whose heart is wanting a relationship, they, is wanting reciprocation, is wanting something more. So we have somebody here that is about to express, they are about to express their feelings about a relationship. Something has been hidden. There's been some sort of secret. There's been some, maybe there's been a secret lover or a secret something. Secret love. A secret love. Because, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um, 
I feel like we have a separation here. We, we do with the Two of Cups reversed, the Ten of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords cuts like a knife. Okay, that's a cut. That's a, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, no, that's the sword that severs ties. Oh my God, oh my God. You know, we have somebody here that has been in a very troubled mindset with the Six of Swords reversed. They've been really struggling with moving on. Um, but they want reciprocation. They want what they deserve. They want equality, you know. They want something more. They want something more. And then the only way they're going to get something more is to remove themselves from that false sense of security that they are living in right now. That's the tower. That's living in the false sense of security. And we have it twice. And it will take it will take determination. It will and it will take willpower to get in that driver's seat and go in the new direction. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of I don't know. There could, for the t well, now we have the chariot reverse. So the chariot reverse is like a dead stop. It could be an outburst. It could be emotions, scattered emotions. You may have somebody here whose emotions are all over the place about a choice because we have the two of cups, which is a choice. It's a, it's a decision. Um, whether they want to leave or whether they want to go. We have somebody that's been losing a lot of sleep. They've been struggling with making a choice. Um, they're in a dead end situation right now. We have dead end twice, okay, where nothing is happening. Nothing is happening at all, okay? They've received poor counsel or poor advice. I don't know, maybe it's from a tarot reader or a psychic or somebody, a medium or somebody that they trusted that gave them poor advice that told them not to go or something like that. Or maybe... I don't know, maybe they just weren't listening to their gut. You know, we got all these people that are selling fantasy, so that's a problem. Um, anyhow, two of cups reversed, high priestess reversed. There's a secret here. A secret is about to be revealed. A secret is about to be revealed. Um, not interested, giving up. Somebody is giving up. I feel like they're giving up. Um, they don't want to invest in this anymore. There's nothing left. There's no reason to invest. There's no reason to invest if there's no nurturing. You know, time's up. Time's up. It's interesting because before I, I, was, I was thinking earlier, it was a couple hours ago, I was doing something. I kept saying to myself, time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. I, I, did, I did have somebody in mind, but I was, I don't know, time's up. And it's interesting, it really is. Time's up. Giving deep thought to a relationship. No investment. This isn't going anywhere. There's no partnership. There's no movement. I deserve something more. There's an offer that is coming with the King of Cups. That's somebody that is looking for love, looking for a relationship. So there's an offer that is coming. There's a, there's a new uh, opportunity here. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunity that change brings. There is going to be a change. Hierophant reversed. Hierophant reversed is a broken relationship. Relationship no longer on the same page. Again, poor counsel. We have somebody here that is having a hard time. They're having a hard time due to social pressure. This is somebody that is questioning their authority. They're in a place of fear. They're in a place of fear. They're worried about what everybody else is going to say. They're not listening to the higher power. They may not believe. They have no faith. Somebody is so afraid. They, there's no faith when you get the hair of font reversed. They're so afraid. They're so afraid. Not, not very spiritual. I put it right next to the high priestess reversed. So we got the high priestess reversed and the hair of font reversed. So we, have a, we definitely have a couple that is not on the same page. This is two people that are not. We have a relationship that is definitely not on the same page. Um, they may have been staying together for social reasons. What's everybody going to say? You know? Um, for, because of social pressure. These two people are not in love with each other at all. Not even at all. They may have been for a little while, but they aren't at all right now. There's no love in these cards, none. 
It's time for a change. You, you were put on this earth to love. There is somebody here that is emotionally available. There is with the King of Cups, okay? There is. There is somebody here that is looking for love, that is looking for a relationship, that has love to offer. But they are, they, underneath that King of Cups is the Ten of Cups reversed. So that's like a dying dream. Somebody's dream is dying. Their dream is dying because they are... They don't have, they're too afraid. They're too afraid. We have too much fear. The chariot reverse, the hero font reverse. They're too afraid. They're too stressed out. They're too worried. Nine of swords. They're too worried about starting over or commitment. You know, the page of pent, the page of pentacles reverse. They're too, they've lost sight of their goal. They, they don't, they're not acting with integrity. You know, they, they don't want to commit to something. You know, they're too afraid to commit. They're too afraid to start over. There's fear of, of commitment, fear of starting over, fear of uh, change, fear of change. We have somebody here definitely held back by fear, eight of swords, that is mental turmoil. It's time of, it's a time of reevaluation. Re this is somebody that is, is playing it safe. Right? They're confining themselves. They're restricting themselves. Staying in a place where it's like prison. It's like there's an opportunity to break free. All you gotta do is stand up and walk away. So anyhow, I feel like it's a time of reevaluation. I feel like we have somebody here that's giving deep, 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 deep thought. There's gonna be taking, this is it. Somebody's gonna be taking a new approach. There's gonna be some communication. This is truth, the truth, telling the truth. Somebody may be telling the truth. They may be severing ties with somebody. This could be the end. It could be the end of a relationship because somebody is honoring their heart. They're following their heart. They've been ignoring their heart. They've been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their gut. They've been ignoring the higher power. They've been ignoring a connection. Because if you think about it, okay, the high priestess and the hierophant are a perfect match. So somebody has been ignoring an opportunity because of fear. And they've been staying in a false sense of security that feels safe, but it, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of falseness. There's a lot of false impressions. There's, there, it's not stable. It's not secure. It was built on false pretenses. There's, there's so much dishonesty there. I see movement. I see I, I see necessary change, okay? Necessary change. Somebody's gonna be broken free from something that they have been trapped in. They've been they've been they've been restricted to, but they chose to be restricted to that because they've let fear consume them. Fear has consumed them. Mm -hmm. oh, four of swords, death of a situation, death of a person or idea. That's what this is. This is feeling dead inside. Feeling dead inside. Prison. Something about prison. Mental prison. Somebody is trapped. They are dead. I see. I've had. I've seen prison like three times. Like mental prison. Somebody is in some sort of situation where they're confining themselves to a situation that feels like prison. It's no way to live. Is no way to live. There's some sort of disgrace here as well. Secrets. Oh my God, oh my God. I wonder if something is being revealed, a secret is being revealed, and it's some sort of disgrace. This is a complete disgrace. It's a shock, it's a surprise. Something could be revealed that is a complete disgrace, okay? Just saying. Truth. Truth, some sort of truth is coming out with that ace of swords. It has to do with the relationship. It has to do with uh, 
I don't know, there's some sort of troubled partnership here. Six of Swords reverse with the Two of Cups reverse. Somebody's been, you know, not really investing. Probably working with somebody else. Vaca taking a vacation physically or mentally is definitely on the table here. The Four of Swords and that hammock card. It's time to go. It's time to take a break from this. It's time to relax. Okay, there we go. Knight of Wands. Act now, think later. There's some sort of action that is about to be taken. Somebody's about to do something right now. Okay, this is swift action. This is a card of freedom. This is somebody that is removing a restriction. This could be a sudden departure, a sudden arrival. This is somebody that may be very frustrated. They may be angry. They're, they're, they're uh, going someplace in a hurry. Very, very feisty. You may have somebody that is getting that is getting angry as well. This can be temper. You know, showing a temper. getting, And I see temper with the chariot reversed as well. That There could be definitely somebody that's getting angry. Oh, we get the Eight of Swords again. When I see the Eight of Swords, I always think of prison. I do. We also have somebody here that is uh, getting in their vehicle and they're going somewhere and they could be going really fast. They could get stopped right in their tracks. I do see trouble. I see trouble because the Six of Swords is reversed. There's trouble. Somebody could be getting themselves into trouble. They could be dealing with a partnership that's getting themselves getting them in trouble. You know, sometimes people get themselves involved with people that blackmail them and they have to stay because they're so afraid of what this person is going to do. You know, I don't know where, how that just came out of my mouth, but I feel like that's part of this. You need to replace your fear with faith. Do not let somebody manipulate you into staying because you're so scared of what they're going to say. They have complete power over you if you let that happen. If you let somebody have complete power, you need to take your own power back. You need to take control. Do not let somebody manipulate you into staying because you are so afraid. It doesn't matter what they have against you. Everybody deserves to be happy. Knight of Wands, act now, think later. Just do it. Replace that fear with faith. Just Somebody's going to be going somewhere. There is going to be a separation here with that Two of Cups reversed. There is. Somebody has been really stuck. They've been stuck in a troubled situation. They've been too afraid to take action. But they've been giving deep thought to the situation. There's no, this is a total dead end. There's, there's a lot of uh, opposition. You know, there's no movement. There's no happiness. There's no emotional fulfillment. It's exhausting. This is the end. It is the end. It is the end. I feel like we have somebody here that is ill as well. They're sick. They're sick, you know. But, and especially at night, we have somebody here that's been thinking a lot at night. They've been thinking a lot about their, their relationship. They've been thinking about their partnership. They've been thinking about their commitment. And they're not happy. They're not happy. Sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free. Break free. Somebody is going to get a sudden revelation that breaks them free from a, a false sense of security. There is going to be movement. There is. Somebody is leaving. They are leaving a false foundation. They're leaving a false sense of security. 
It could be the you, okay? It could be you. It could be it could be me. It could be whoever. It could, it's the one that is holding on, okay, to the one that doesn't love them. The one that doesn't want to commit. The one that doesn't want a relationship. Okay, because there's somebody here that doesn't want a commitment. There's somebody here that doesn't isn't interested, that isn't putting in effort. This person isn't doing anything. Okay, the page of pentacles reverse. This is somebody who's not committed. You know, if they're not committed, if they're not looking, okay, if they're not putting in any effort, if they're if they're uh, not doing anything, then they're not interested. Period. You need to, and I do have somebody here that's very much been giving a lot of thought to the non-commitment. I mean, the Nine of Swords is next to that, page, Nine of Swords next to the Page of Pentacles reverse. It's like giving deep thought, really stressed out, having a hard time coping with the nothing that's happening. If nothing is happening, then you got to be honest with yourself, right? You got to be honest with yourself. You got to, you got to. You got to break free from that fantasy, okay? Maybe it's time to take a new approach, okay? Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. I mean, that is right now. Act, this is a new approach. Act now, think later. Take a new approach. Act now, think later. So that's what's happening. We, that is exactly what's happening. Somebody is parting ways from a relationship that is not on the same page. Time's up. Good luck.